All right, so as we've been talking about in the past few videos on this channel, letting go is an incredibly powerful thing that you can do that definitely does not mean that you don't get what you want. And if you can do this correctly, it's gonna make you incredibly attractive. I'm gonna explain this to you in this video. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hey there, it's Clay with modernlove.life. Now, once again, we've been talking on this channel about letting go. Uh, we've been talking about some common misconceptions about it. Namely, the biggest one that I hear from clients is that they're afraid to let go of a specific person, of a ex, of a relationship that they want to save and be together with because they think that as long as they're emotionally entangled in it, that that means that there's still some sort of hope for them to actually get that relationship. And, you know, we, we talked about in those other videos um, about how that's not necessarily true at all. In fact, the more that you can let go, the more likely it actually is that you're going to be able to get it because you're going to be detached from outcome. So t t today, I want to talk to you about a big secret about this whole process maybe is not evident to a lot of y'all. And that is that letting go is in many ways an act of trust. It's an act of trust that you don't need to figure it all out. You don't need to white knuckle through it and try to stay in control and orchestrate everything and orchestrate every, you know, text message and every, um, you know, interaction that you have, every meetup that you have, every conversation that you have, all of that stuff. You can actually give that over and trust that something greater is coming to you. And there, there, there are so many levels of trust that we can talk about this at. Like first, of course, there's the level of trust with, um, you know, whatever you might want to call it, God, the universe, source, uh, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever other names you may have in your own personal practice. But, you know, so many times um, learning to let go of thinking that you need to be bigger than God or bigger than um, the universe or bigger than anything else and orchestrate things yourself, you know, keep moving things forward, keep pushing things forward and all that, you know, living in the world of matter, influencing matter. And of course, that's not to say that you should just be totally passive and do nothing. I, I obviously want you to be an active participant in life. As you heard me say several videos ago, when I was talking about like my own personal struggles in life, you know, I, 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 I kind of shut down for a little while. And, you know, I was doing some 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 things to work through some of this and I'm like you know yeah like, like let's bring a uh, uh, something positive into my life but then I looked at my behavior and I was just noticing that I was just like so closed off you know I wasn't contacting friends I wasn't reaching out to people that I should have reached out to I wasn't doing a lot of stuff and it's like okay yeah when you're like a closed fist how are how is the universe supposed to give you anything how are you supposed to actually receive anything so you have to like be willing to open up so I had to you know, get through issues that I had and send a couple messages out, send a few emails out, stuff like that to, 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 to get in contact with people and to open myself up to receive. But all that aside, you know, the, the big thing is that we have to get past this idea that we have to be in control of everything and do everything ourselves. When we're able to get past that, then we can actually allow, trust, that there's something bigger than us that can deliver to us opportunities that we can't even perceive of or see uh, potentially right now with our current level of consciousness and with our current understanding of the world around us. Uh, by the way, if you like this sort of video, please make sure you hit the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Please make sure you um, hit the bell icon and all these sorts of things. Leave a comment down as well, letting me know so that I can see it and you can help out my low self-esteem um, so that I know that to um, you know, make more videos like this. Another layer of trust that you can work through is really trusting yourself as well too. You know, there's so many people, maybe even some people in the comments for this video, I don't know, uh, that, that are asking questions like, you know, what do I text? Or like, 
you know, hey, it's a long distance relationship. What, what are the chances? Uh, should I give up? And all that sort of stuff. And these are people that don't trust themselves. That's why they're looking to, you know, someone like me on YouTube or, you know, someone else. And they want that person to answer all of their questions and to, 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 to make them say, hey, you know, yeah, you can still do this. Or no, you can't do it. You should give up or something like that. And that's very disempowering for you. Um, I don't know. It's probably not a great business practice for me to be telling you to empower yourself. I mean, I don't know. It, it, maybe these other folks are, 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 are doing the right thing by, from a business standpoint anyway, by saying like, hey, yeah, you, you can't trust yourself. You should trust me instead. But like, I, I don't want that. That's a really um, not good experience for me. Probably not very good for you. You know, I don't want you to feel like you need to like come to me every time you don't know what to say or do. I want you to trust yourself. And that is truly how I would measure, you know, client success is like, are they trusting themselves? And are they able to trust uh, someone other than, like the last thing I want is just someone coming to me like, okay, hey, uh, they, they text me, what do I do? Okay, text them this. Okay, well, they, they, they text me back. What do I say now? Okay, we'll text them this. Like that's, that's not very interesting for me, honestly. And I don't think that's very interesting for you. I mean, it might be comforting for you because maybe you don't trust yourself, but um, it's probably not very empowering for you either. What I do want you to do is to learn how to trust yourself. And a lot of this is due to your own relationship with your own inner child. Um, you know, the whole idea of the inner child has been, you know, pretty well popularized over the past, I don't know, several decades. Um, so I don't think I need to go into what that is. I, I think that's pretty common knowledge for most folks. But what we may not understand is that there's also an inner parent within us as well too that can take a stand for that child and can nurture that child and can have a relationship with that child. And that when we're feeling anxious or fearful or confused or don't know what to do next, many times that's our own inner child frightened and confused and uncertain about what to do. You know, like if you could imagine a real child saying like, hey, I'm scared, there's like a bully at school or something, or hey, I don't know, I think there might be a monster under my bed, and the parent is just like totally absent, not even there, not even there to respond, or even worse, agitating them, like, oh my God, that's right, there is a bully at school, they're probably gonna beat you up every day for the next, let's see, you're in first grade, so 12 years, and take your lunch money forever. Um, or, hey, there could be a monster under your bed. That's right, there could be a monster under your bed. It's probably got like eight tentacles and it's going to uh, start snapping at you with a beak and a red glowing eyes at night or something. Like, yeah, that, that's just going to agitate the child. But what you could do to build more trust, I mean, unless you like living in a constant state of anxiety and fear and stress and all that, which I imagine you probably don't, um, is to actually work on your relationship with that inner child and to... Um, take a step up as an actual inner nurturing parent and say like hey you know I, I understand you could be afraid of this but you know let's get through this let's make this work and the more you do this the more you actually start to emotionally develop this sense of trust with yourself that no matter what happens I'm gonna be able to handle it no matter what happens you and me inner child and inner parent we're gonna get through this together and we're gonna make it through to the other side and, you know, you can't just do this haphazardly, but when you are actually able to do this in a consistent way, that's when you build up a lot of trust for yourself. And um, that's also going to help you to become extremely attractive because the more you trust yourself to handle whatever's going to happen, the less you're going to be just like blindly grasping for things outside of yourself, um, you know, turning over your power to things outside of yourself, whether that's your specific person, your ex, your, 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 your relationship that you want, or whether it's turning your power out, out to, to some other authority or, or person outside of yourself, like, you know, someone that wrote some relationship book or some, some coach that says they're going to tell you all the text messages to send so that you don't have to worry your poor little soul at all because uh, I've got a magic fill-in-the-blank text message program that'll have your ex crawling back over broken shards of glass because you want them to crawl over broken shards of glass because you love them so much? I, I, I don't know how that works again, but um, hey, whatever. Anyway, um, that's what I'd really recommend you focus on is doing this trust stuff because it's gonna make you extremely attractive because so many people are 
looking for validation outside of themselves. They're looking for validation from their partner or some external thing in the world or some, some person that's going to come in and save them or something like that. You know, I hate to say this, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to save yourself. You're going to have to get the relationship that you want. You know, you could get some great coaching. You can get some great guidance. You might be able to find an amazing YouTube channel eh, online that, that helps you a lot. By the way, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you like this one. Um, but at the end of the day, you're going to have to walk through that path yourself. And you're going to have to figure out some of these challenges yourself. Guidance can help you, but at the end of the day, you are the the captain of your own life. You are steering your life in whatever direction you may be taking it in. And yeah, you can get some good advice from people, but you got to do it. And you got to trust yourself to handle and adapt whatever's going to happen. And that is truly much more attractive than um, you know, just just blindly following some some person's advice, or just looking to 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 your partner, or to the last text message they sent, or to the last emoji they sent, or to the the, the Instagram post that they made, or the Facebook post that they made as proof or validation that they care about you or don't care about you or something. That's going to be so much more attractive than that. And so, what you really want to do is you want to learn how to trust yourself let go of attachment to outcome because what attachment to outcome really is is not trusting yourself and um, as you do this you're going to become much 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 more attractive Um, anyway this is kind of the core of what we talk about inside of our course called emotional freedom you can check it out over at modernlove.life slash ef e is an emotional f is in freedom i know really clever there um but, uh, you know, feel free to check it out if it's something you're interested in. You know, feel free to sign up. If, if not, no worries. But uh, we'd love to have you inside. Uh, with that being said, thanks so much. Take care, and I'll talk to you next time.